Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. Uh, this is one of the first episodes that have actually come out where I haven't had a grotesque backlog. I'm actually making this the day before you're going to see it. And, uh, I want to make something. Uh, I have no idea how many I just requested. I'll do it. So, I've been avoiding Tinker's Construct, but I need to use it for a small purpose right now. And that... Oh, I'm going to need one of these. That small purpose... Oh, I screwed it up. Is getting Wither Skulls. Because it'll make it so much faster. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Pull all these out. What? 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 Huh? Oh well. Not sure what happened there. So, tool station. I uh, cooked up the grout. We got some. Yes, yes. We got some uh, seared bricks. I think I might actually be able to cheat the system a bit with this. Because what I should technically be able to do. Oh, leave me alone. And why do I have four of you? Whatever. I should be able to technically cheat the system a bit, but I don't think. Eh. Hmm. You know, setting it up would be a bit of a pain. Hmm. Let's try. Sabling. This should just be that one, so I should be good to make this work. Hopefully. Well. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure I got some more gold. Crap. Well. That puts a damper on those plans a bit. Uh, I'll throw these over here. Anyhow. Put that down. Put that down. Put that down. So, I want to make a cleaver, which means I need a, a sword blade, a cleaver blade, whatever, tough two rods, and a tough plate. So, I'm going to need large blade pattern. Oh, large plate pattern, and a tough rod pattern. So, what I'm going to do, as I'm sure you can guess, is I'm going to make those. Uh, and I've temporarily disabled my thing here. I moved that down there. I was trying to make something work, but it just wasn't in the way I intended. And I'll probably show you... Very curious... Very, very curious. But uh, I'm going to grab some iron. Uh, you know what? Grab half a stack. That should be plenty enough for my needs. Now uh, these should tell me 3, 8. Uh, so that's 14. And you, not you, you are 8. So, 22. I'll do that. Oh, I should have gotten the gold. I've made a mistake. Again. So, hopefully... I'm not even sure this is going to work, to be honest. I'm going to try. I'm very curious as if it will work. Huh. My inventory is fuller than I expected. I, this is not the first time I've done that. So I'll throw you back in there. I'll throw you in there. And you, and you, and you, and you. Uh, I'll leave the digital miner in my inventory. Did I clear enough space? Looks like I did. So with any luck, because of the way I've got this set up, technically anything I throw in this chest I should be able to melt down. Oops, I didn't want to make a casting basin. 
actually wanted a casting table. Eh. Basin should be able to work. Now, if I set this move to auto eject fluids, theoretically. This may or may not work. It appears to be working. The only downside is I seem to have made a small mistake. Uh, oh, no, don't do that. I can fix this. Or I can't fix this. I'm assuming you can't melt that back down. Of course you can't. Oh, uh, I'll just put it in there. So, what I should be able to do is if I take this, sit that there, should be able to take the eight of these, throw them in here. Once they're done melting, it should hopefully auto eject into here and make my uh, large plate. Cool. Now, if I take this. You do the exact same thing. The reason why I like this is because it's faster. A lot faster. Uh, I could make it a little bit faster if I set up a pipe to pull out the liquid rather than waiting for this thing to tick on its own. But I'm not that impatient. Okay. I am quite a bit impatient, but that is not the point here. The point is, I am crafting myself a cleaver. And to be honest, I'm doing this a little bit wrong, but I don't care as much as I should. That's, oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Where'd you go? Did you get collected by the thing downstairs? Oh yeah, wow. Okay. I see. I'll just throw them down this infinite abyss then. Okay, I can't throw them down that infinite abyss. Let's try this one. That's better. Let, let me out. So, I'll just store these in here. That in there as well. Okay, fine. You can have it. See if I care. So, I want to make a cle... Oh, come on now. Nothing in this game can be clicked on without throwing your item on the ground. Okay, shift clicking doesn't work very well. So, it does five and a half hearts. It's something. Oh, I need obsidian. This is going to end up being longer than I intended. Ah. Need lava sigil. Lava. Give. Go. Go faster. I'm patient. Ow. One, two. Four. Four should be enough. So, now I need ender pearls. Give. Okay, good. I'd actually. I could put another modifier on here, but unfortunately I can't. That's not. Right. Okay, so. 
I have set this up with beheading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I am going to disable this. No, I'm going to disable this. And now what I should be able to do is flick the switch. I have put a wither skeleton. It says skeleton, but as you can see, it is a wither skeleton. And it shouldn't take too long. It's a cleaver, which naturally has beheading. That also has beheading three. And because that thing's picking stuff up, I can't actually tell if I'm getting heads or not. I must say, it's... That looked like there was more than one head there. That doesn't seem right. Okay. This went far quicker than expected. Uh, let's just turn you off. Okay. Now, I don't really have, well, I have the electric bow I could, I could get. Oops. Now, doing exact match takes more power. You know what? Screw it. I've got enough for now. Deal with them on your own. Uh, I open, updated open computers again because I was having a crash with unloading chunks containing open computer stuff. That said, I wish to... Oh, no, I'm going to need more obsidian for that. I don't care at the moment. So, I need soul sand. I need wither heads. I need aspirin. Uh, we'll get three. My energy blaster in here as well. Energy blaster. I want to try the energy blaster, but I want to have a backup weapon. Oops. So, for my backup weapon, I'm going to use uh, the electric bow. Which... Oh, I know what I tried to do. Okay. Yeah, I did the same thing for the energy blaster. Okay. So I'm going to fight a wither. And it is technically going to be glorious? Uh, I'm going to put faith in hoping that it's not going to crash me. If I do crash, it might cause me difficulties. But we'll find out very quickly if it's going to crash me. So like I said, there's been a bit of a crashing issue with unloading chunks containing open computers. I might be safe. Famous last words. So far, so good. Okay, so. I do want the Sigil of Magnetism, but it doesn't used to be on my bar. Uh, I don't really need the Elemental Affinity, but I might as well put it on, since I have it. And I don't need the Cleaver on my bar. Aspirin. Okay, Wither Skulls, and I forgot to get the... <sighs> this was a test. I wanted to know if it was going to break whenever I left. This was all intentional. I clearly meant to do this. This was in no way an accident. Well, at least I won't take fall damage jumping down here. Oop. 
As you can tell, I'm used to that being where my sigil's at. Give to me. Okay. That, let me through the door. This, we're going to make something in this episode. And it requires me to kill a wither. And once I make it, I'm going to show you it. I'm going to set it where it needs to be. And then that should be the end of the episode. Okay, so. Uh, no, I'll fight you right here. One, two, three, four. Three minutes of regen. So good. It's actually working quite well, I don't think. Did you die already? Thank you very much. So, I got a division sigil, I got a bunch of ash stone, whoops, that I didn't want. Don't care about those, they can sit there and rot. But I got my nether star, which is what I was after. Oh, just leave me alone. I'll turn the elemental affinity off once I get over there. So that probably did quite a number on my blood network. Eh, 30,000. That's not a lot. Still haven't upgraded it, haven't done anything at all to the altar since you last seen. In fact, I've been playing a lot of ESO, and I'm going to make a confession. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make an episode, and then ESO was all like, I'm going to have maintenance today. And I was like, oh, well, good timing, because, oops, because you managed to get me to stop. Turn off. So, that's that. Uh, what am I doing? Flying. But, uh, yeah, open computers change some textures. I like it. They, they're not quite... A, the, the diamond stuff doesn't seem to be quite as bright as it used to be, and that is a big plus side for me. But what we're looking for is called a player interface. It is from Random Things. Uh, please tell me I have all the stuff. Cool. I need obsidian. Of course I do. I need a lot of obsidian, actually. Eight and six. I need 14 obsidian. I really need to come up with a better way to get obsidian. Just putting that out there. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Whoops. Getting really weird frame hitches right now, and I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to do towards the end of the episode. Sit here and make obsidian on camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why my FPS is being so weird, but whatever. Okay, so. off and come in here throw all the obsidian where it needs to be go make a regular vanilla ender chest throw the nether star in call it bam so here's the thing about this block the sides are your inventory the top is your armor what the heck? The, okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to cheat this in. I had an issue where I did it as a computer too. 
I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna hide it. The issue seems to c come with using the atomic disassembler. I don't know why. Like, if I were to, I don't think I have. Like, if we were to go up, right? Come over here, grab. Uh, I'm afraid to grab any of these because they're all mechanism based stuff. But it's an issue that has been happening where things from random things, if I break them with the atomic disassembler, they vanish. And it's actually been really annoying. But I'll place this here where it needs to be. Now, as you can see, on the bottom there's a sword and it's connected to me. On the bottom is your hotbar, the top is your armor, and the sides is your inventory. As I'm sure you noticed, what I've done here is I have connected it directly to my inventory. So what I should be able to do is throw this stuff in here, alright? Now, say I need meat. Because, let's... Because the, you know, meat in my inventory is getting a bit low. So let's call for 48. So, as you can see, it went directly into my inventory, and then I moved it into my hotbar. And I can send things into my hotbar if I wanted to, but eh. So what I can do now is I can use the ender pouch to send things out. And then I can request things directly into my inventory. Straight from my AE network. Uh... I had plans to do this previously. Unfortunately, there were some YouTubers that I watched that kind of beat me to the punch. Doesn't change the fact that I was planning on doing this, but... Eh. But yeah, I actually had an issue where, with the unloading bug, which seems to be going on this version, which is good, that would crash my game, it entirely corrupted this computer. Everything in it was destroyed. The computer was destroyed. It, it was bad. And I had to do some serious work to recover from that one, because nothing wanted to cooperate for a while at first. And uh, I apologize, my voice sounds a little scratchy. I did just wake up. My days have been, wake up, play ESO, fall asleep. I've been trying to get a job, but that's hard. And that also means that playing ESO past the first month is going to be very hard. But, eh, what are you going to do? And there, I, I had to make more sticks at one point. I tried upgrading the reactor, but I've reached a weird point. I don't know if something's changed since the one video I watched, but, you know what, let's just ride the elevator. But, the reactor was not playing nicely with me. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something hideously wrong, but once I extended it past a, like, a certain point, it just stopped. I did, however, do a really weird setup. As you can see, I extended it this way, but it was only generating steam some of the time, and it wasn't doing a nice, consistent output. Now, why are you not moving at all? Are you still producing full power? Yeah. As you can see, by combining the turbines... Well, I did technically add more things at the same time, but... I combined the turbines, which means that uh, I'm getting more power from them than normal, so I'm getting this. And due to the way this is wired up here, I seem to be getting like five times or four times my uh, storage amount listed. So, like, looking at this, I'm at roughly half of my capacitor up there. Nothing has actually changed in its values. I might put a muffler on this, because this is a bit loud. Well, that's weird. No. No. Well, there's a bit of a weird. Oh, no, no, I I, I suck at mathing. That, that's the problem here. But as you can see, we're at uh, 490 million RF. So, we're doing good on that. I need to get the uh, storage floor going at some point. 
but that's going to take some time. Well, I mean, I've got the energy in it, but I need to get my AE system into it. So, that's pretty much it for the moment. Uh, I did manage to get things pulled into my AE network automatically. I can send things to my inventory now, which is a big boon to clearing out stuff. Now, the only thing I would need to do is one other thing in order to get thing all nice, things all nice and good for how I want them to be. But... I'll get around to that eventually. Basically, what I want to do is... I, I swear I'm going to stop. But I want to make one of these capacitors at some point. I think I could probably almost make one of them now. Uh, I'm going to do something very stupid and spend more time. Hmm. How? By ow, I mean it didn't hurt as much as I expected. Okay, I'm going to waste time, and I'm going to try to very, very quickly get this going. So, what I might be able to do... Start with trying to get the leadstone capacitor. It's undoubtedly going to tell me that I have no... Yeah, it's going to tell me I have no copper. Go. Okay. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to have to do this manually, I'm not going to lie. Tin. Invar, I should have some invar left. Redstone. Change the tin. Go. Sweet. Flux capacitor. Uh, electrum. I've actually gotten quite a bit of Electrum from uh, the extra outputs in the my little processing thing over there. That is not how you spell diamond. And I still have my floor one hard drive in here. Okay, oh, I didn't mean to get three of you. So, I suppose I can do this probably getting to be too long at this point, but I can't promise there'll be an episode the day after this one, so whatever works. So unfortunately, this does have imposed transfer speed on it, but it charges fast enough. Some, because you can see it can receive 2,000 RF a tick, so it could be slower. But the advantage now is, you know, I'm not going to make you wait the whole way through this. I want to get done with this. Oh, actually, let's go back in here. Now, normally, if I were to dig things out, it would go down, right? You get 940k here. Now, if this is on your hotbar, and you shift-right-click it, it turns it on, and it will charge whatever RF-powered tool is currently in your hand. At the cost of its own charge, of course. So what this means is if we look here, it's still at 400,000, but now this is down to 909k. This gives me roughly an extra 500... No, not extra 500, an extra 5 uh, fills of my tool, basically. Which is enough to do a lot of work. But, I'm going to call this good. We've... Uh, Provided a good way for me to both get things into and out of my inventory now. And next time, I might see about getting some kind of automatic processing of ores set up. Uh, shouldn't be a major issue. Resident Rise thankfully does a good job of setting things up in a way where it only generates one of each type of ore. So, that should be pretty simple now but uh i'm gonna call this good and i will see you guys next time have a good day